Hey guys, what's going on? This is the GTA Wise Guy, and in today's video, I've got a showcase of the Ennis Windsor that come with the Ill Gotten Gains DLC. And I hope you guys enjoyed that little drifting cinematic there. I had fun making it, and this car is awesome for drifting, which I'll be showing you guys more of later. So, straight onto the build the car you can buy from Legendary Auto Sport with tons of different liveries to choose from for $845,000. But we're going to be removing the livery and going to go for a classic Rolls Royce Wraith look to it. So the brakes and the engine upgrades, they're quite expensive, uh, the turbo and the transmission as well. We're going to put some Zen and headlights on to it to make it look a bit extra more classy. So when you respray the car, you can actually change the livery from there. So once you've already bought it, you don't have to worry about sticking to that. You can also remove it entirely, but you can also change the color of the livery and you can also remove it completely on one part and just have the livery on this another part, but you can only do it by making the color black. The primary colour we're going to go for a galaxy blue and the secondary will just go for a silver for that traditional English Rolls Royce Wraith look. Now for the pearlescent colour we're just going to put an ice white on top of it to give it that extra little shine and we don't want to put a colour on the pearlescent because it will distract from the silver on the secondary. We're going to put a competition suspension on to get it as low as we can for drifting. We're going to put turbo tuning, race transmission on and for the wheels we're going to go for duper 7. They look really brute, like they suit the car, they are huge and chunky. And unfortunately we can't get many body modifications for this car. And to top it off, we're going to put a limo tint on the windows as well. So that's it for the build guys. And this car is pretty awesome. It looks really nice. It's super clean. It's brute. It just looks powerful. It's huge. And if you guys want to lower this car, you can do so by using the standard method by shooting the center of the wheel or the bottom of the wheel to lower it twice. You can normally do it with half a clip of the advanced rifle. Now this thing does drift like a beast. It is basically like the Schwarzschild, but it's faster and more control. You have to use a lot of handbrake pacing to get it right, but fast entries, they're quite easy to maintain and you get a lot of angle. You can get your proximity right. You can. It's just awesome. I'll leave some raw drifting footage for you guys to watch at the end of the video. Now for the engine and exhaust sound, it's quite subtle, but it's a very brute sound because it, it packs a V12 and it just sounds awesome. Now just let you guys have a listen to the soundtrack. So this car is actually really quick in a straight line, it can do the mid drive speed boost, the perfect launch and it also handles really well on the corners if it's, you're not intending it to drift and it also looks quite nice when it's high as well and you've not actually put the competition suspension on. So it actually is very inconvenient due to its size, it is a massive car so if you want to try and get around traffic as you can see I can't actually get past these cars here, I'm trying to weave through traffic. If you're not going to damage your sweet British dominance it's going to be a bit tricky to do that. So there we are guys, that is it for the showcase of the Ennis Windsor. This car is awesome, it's a drifting beast, I've got this thing in my garage already. It is quite expensive, but it's definitely worth the buy. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more GTA content, and also some Need for Speed and Forza 6 coming up next week for E3. Anyway guys, that's pretty much all for this video, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next one.